what's going on guys this is me Ron and welcome to the new video tutorial in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to generate and send OTP SMS using PHP as you all know security of user account is the critical problem in these days so the developer have to think about how they can secure their user account so I thought I should make one video about it so that most of the student will learn about it and integrate it in their project so it has two step first one is generating OTP and second one is sending OTP to the phone number it means we need to send the SMS to the user phone number that's why we need SMS gateway provider there are a number of uh, SMS gateway provider uh, we are going to choose txt local is our sms gateway you have to understand all the basic terms yourself because if i try to explain all these things this video can be very long so let's understand in very short what is otp 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 is nothing but a piece of code either can be alphanumeric or only numeric and it is sent to the user phone number while they are trying to sign off or logging to the account and later they should enter that code to login or to complete sign up otherwise they cannot consume the service of the application means cannot get into the application or if you want to learn more about one time password you can google it so without further more any explanation let's start it we are doing project in PSV you should have server application and any text editing software in your system I am using dream over CC as my text editing software and one server is my server application so let's start so open up your browser and go to txtlocal.co.uk and click on sign up your interview name and email and click on sign up now the actual local will send one verification email in your email so let's check that email there you go and click that verification link now you need to provide your some of your information over here now address And the default sender name TSN accept and then click on active my account. Now again go to txlocal.co.uk and click on integration and click on SMS API, click on API documentation. Now uh, in PHP we can uh, use either API key technique or has key technique so I am going to use has so here click on help all documentation now you scroll down and you will see send SMS by PSP click on that link and finally we are going to use this code now open dream over CC go to file click on new and then select PSP click create first of all let me save this file then click save now we are going to create one simple HTML form over here and the next one call to PHP OTP dot PHP inside this form I am going to create one table 
align is equal to center inside that table we are going to put on her name field and then uh, we need to take the input from the user so phone number field uh, so tr td here goes name and another here goes input type is equal to text name is equal to name placeholder is equal to enter your name and another table row and the table data here goes phone number and here input type is equal to text name is equal to num placeholder is equal to valid phone number should be valid and with country code now again another table row table data here goods input type is equal to submit name is equal to login and then value is equal to either uh, you can use this otp method either uh, in signing off with your application or logging uh, in with your application so sign up or login so uh, when the user click this submit button we need to send OTP so send OTP I'm going to use all these value for the submit button and I'm going to style the submit button so style background color mm, like blue and then border zero picture now another table row inside the table row another table column sorry table data here goes verify OTP means when you send that OTP to the user phone number the user should enter that received OTP so we need to validate that OTP so here go another TD input type is equal to text name is equal to OTP tp and placeholder is equal to enter received otp and one more table row table data and i'm going to leave the table data as it is and here i'm going to put on the submit button input type is equal to submit name is equal to verify peer and value is equal to verify you can only foot verify but i'm going to 
or demonstrate to you so i am going to use verify otp and i am going to install this button also background color like green and broader broader white zero pixel now the save it or you can also give the hats uh, hex code of that green color here now save it and open this in any browser that you like but if you are working for the very first time in Dreamover CC and PHP, you need to define site and testing server in Dreamover CC. So watch that video. The link is in the description. So there you go. A simple HTML form. Now we are going to write the logic. So here, copy this piece of code. And go back to remover CC and here oh. paste that code. Now, here if is set underscore post super global variable login when the user click this submit button uh, let me show you in the browser this submit button uh, we need to generate the OTP and send it to the user so open parenthesis over here here close and here is the username this is the ASCII and we need to take uh, input from the user that is name so define our variable define our variable name is equal to post here goes name and uh, another variable here uh, phone number already defined so we are going to take the input from the user so dollar square post here goes norm the name of the number field is norm so now we are going to send the message to the user so here hey Name your OTP is uh, so first of all let me generate the OTP we have one function that generate the OTP so dollar OTP is equal to empty underscore rand and the minimum value and the maximum value now here goes OTP now we need to display the message to the user so here what you can do is echo OTP send successfully now go back to your design uh, when the user uh, enters uh, some value in this text box and verify click uh, on this submit button what we need to do is we need to check whether that uh, whether 
the user submitted value uh, is matched with the previous least generated OTP or not. So for this, we are going to use the cookies. So we need to set the cookies over here. So here, after generating that OTP, set cookie and the, the name of the cookie is I'm going to set OTP and the value is OTP. Now scroll down and here if is set first what is that submit button name the here and we are going to store the user input value in some variable so is equal to dollar on this curve first here goes what is the name of that text box OTP now we are going to check if bar OTP is equal to we have one super global variable called dollar underscore cookie and the here goes name of the cookies OTP if the user if already generated OTP match with the user input OTP what we need to do we need to display the message to the user that either uh, you are logged in successfully or sign up successfully logged in otherwise else OTP wrong so that's it save it and open this in browser we got some error line 16 oh. now enter your name like tsn and here goes the valid phone number my country code is plus 977 and the 10 digit phone number and click on this button message to display OTP sent successfully now let's check whether the OTP is received in my phone or not so let me connect this PC with my phone there you go there is one message let's open that message Okay, yeah, text open def your OTP is 576777. Now, here enter that receive uh, uh, OTP. And then click on verify OTP. Then login successfully. So that's it in this video tutorial guys. If you like this video, share this video with your friends so that they can know about this helpful video and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel so subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon near that subscribe button and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye